lovelies, today I'm coming at you guys with a french fry video. Now for literally the longest, I was not convinced that alkaline fries could even match up to regular fries because I love french fries. Guys, <laughs> my burrow banana french fry recipe is absolutely amazing. It's super quick, it's easy, and I'm officially a believer of burrow french fries. I don't even wanna tell you guys how much uh, fries I've had in the last couple of weeks. So you're going to need some burrow bananas. Typically for a serving for just myself, I typically use two bananas, but today I'm feeling kind of froggy and greedy. So I will be doing three bananas. I keep them in the refrigerator so that they could stay nice and green because you want them to be nice and starchy so that you could get that same french fry effect. All right, so I'm gonna jump right into this video, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to share it with all your friends, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and yeah, let's get into it. So you're gonna wanna turn the heat to medium. I find that using a cast iron or a stainless steel pot works the best for this recipe because you get the color, <laughs> but you're gonna need sea salt, cayenne pepper, and onion powder. But again, trust me, stainless steel and cast iron are like the best pots to cook with. But anyways, you're just gonna cut off the ends of the burrow bananas and then just do a line straight down the banana. If you've made plantains before, it's exactly the same. You wanna basically just put the line deep enough so that you go past the skin, as you can see, so that you're able to just peel it off with ease. However, burrow bananas are a little bit more difficult than plantains to peel, so you definitely have to be a little bit more patient with them, um, especially if you're just taking them out of the refrigerator. So be patient with yourself, my friends, because it's not as easy as some other bananas. But that's okay, because it's worth it. Okay, but if you don't wanna do that, you could also use a knife. I'm showing you right here to get the stubborn skin off or you could just literally skin the whole banana. But I'm just so used to peeling it that that's just what I do. But if it's easier for you, definitely use your knife, okay? Okay, after that, you're gonna to wanna to use grapeseed oil or avocado oil. I'm not gonna lie, I prefer avocado oil for this recipe, but it is way more expensive than grapeseed oil. So, you know, when you're feeling froggy, <laughs> you could use avocado oil. But basically, I'm just slicing the bananas the hot dog way, or the long way, whatever you wanna say. Um, but you could cut them as thin as you like. I like mine to be fairly thin, I guess, because I like mine crunchy. Some people like soft fries, but I like mine kind of, you know, with a little kick, a little bite. Um, so I make mine a little bit thin. So I just keep cutting the long way um, to the thickness that I like. And again, do the thickness that you like, hunty, because everybody likes a different thickness. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> then voila, all of them are cut except for this last one. Um, and this is what your burrow fries will look like. And it already looks like potatoes, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I know, I know it does. Okay, then you're gonna wanna fill your pot with about uh, a half inch of oil. You just wanna really coat the bottom of it. Right here, I'm just checking the oil. You want it to be nice and hot. It should be bubbly when you put your little french fries in, like so. Um, if the oil is not hot enough, just wait till it heats up. And then you're just gonna wanna fill the pot. You don't wanna overdo it. Um, you want to give them some broom, some room, some broom, some room. And then once they start getting a little bit golden, that's when you could just start moving them around a bit because you know, you want it to get evenly coated, evenly cooked. Um, and I just love that little, I don't know what it's called. It's, it's not a spatula, but I absolutely love it, um, uh, because it strains the oil, but it's, it's just amazing. Okay. I don't know the name of it. If you know the name of it, leave the comment below. But as you can see, they get nice and golden, and honestly, they already look just like french fries. But I like mine to get just a little bit more crunchy than this, and sometimes I like my stuff a little bit burnt. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like that, but I do. So after I take that first batch out, I just go ahead and add the second. Honestly, it takes about five minutes per batch, so just you know, mix it around and take it out when you're ready to take it out. I put some sea salt on it. I put some cayenne pepper on it. I love my stuff spicy. And then I just go ahead and I put some onion powder on it. These three together make it taste exactly like french fries. I, I just, honestly, I kid you not. 
and then you just mix it up like so mix it mix it mix it <laughs> and yes then this is my first batch but i'm gonna add to it and this is all my french fries combined they do shrink a little bit so keep that in mind but yes i'm finishing that <laughs> and you guys that is it here is my platter of french fries they're so good you can make them as crunchy or as soft as you would like but I like mine crispy. <laughs> this is my homemade ketchup, and I will definitely have a video of that next, but look at these french fries. So fire. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. I promise you these taste just like french fries. Share it with your mama, your cousin, your auntie, your brother, your sister, <laughs> all of them. And I hope you guys have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you lovelies later. If you want to keep up with me, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I am Linda Elaine and Snapchat at your Mexican Beauty. All right, I'm about to go eat my french fries and watch Girlfriends. Bye!